Art Nouveau, Art Nouveau, which translates to New Art, attempted to create an entirely authentic movement free from any imitation of styles that preceded. This movement heavily influenced applied arts, graphics, and illustration. It focused on the natural world, characterized by long, sinuous lines and curves. Influential Art Nouveau artists work in a variety of media, including architecture, graphic, and interior design, jewelry making, and painting. Czechoslovakian graphic designer Alfonsi Muka is best known for his theatrical posters of French actress Sarah Bernhardt. The Spanish architect and sculptor Antony Gaudi went beyond focusing on lines to create curving, brightly colored constructions like that of the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. Impressionism Impressionist painters sooth to capture the immediate impression of a particular moment. This was characterized by short, big brush strokes and an unfinished sketch-like feel. Impressionist artists used modern life as their subject matter, painting situations like dance halls and sailboat regattas rather than historical and mythological events. Claude Monet, a French artist who spearheaded the idea of expressing one's perception before nature, is virtually synonymous with the Impressionist movement. His notable works include The Water Lily Pond, Woman with a Parasol, The Impression Sunrise, from which the name of the movement itself is derived. Post-Impressionism Post-Impressionist painters work independently rather than as a group, but which influential most Impressionist painter had similar ideals. They concentrated on subjective visions and symbolic, personal meanings rather than observations of the outside world. This was often achieved through abstract forms. Post-Impressionist painters include George Surat, noted for his pointillism technique that used small, distinct dots to form an image. Vincent van Gogh is also considered as a post-impressionist painter, searching for personal expression through his art, often through rugged brushstrokes and dark stones. Led by Henry Matisse, Fauvism built upon examples from Vincent van Gogh and George Surat. As the first avant-garde 20th century movement, this style was characterized by expressive use of intense color, line, and brushwork, a bold sense of surface design, and flat composition. As seen in many of the works of Matisse himself, the separation of color from its descriptive representational purpose was one of the core elements that shaped this movement. Fauvism was an important precursor of Cubism and Expressionism. Expressionism Expressionism emerged as a response to increasingly conflicted worldviews and the loss of spirituality. Expressionist art soothed to draw from within the artist, using a distortion of form and strong colors to display anxieties and raw emotions. Expressionist painters, in a quest for authenticity, looked for inspiration beyond that of Western art and frequented ethnographic museums to revisit native folk traditions and tribal art. The roots of Expressionism can be traced to Vincent van Gogh, Edvard Mont, and James Ensor. Prominent groups including The Bridge, The Blue Rider, formed as so artists could publish works and express their ideals collectively. Cubism 
Cubism was established by Pablo Picasso and George Braquet, who rejected the concept that art should copy nature. They moved away from traditional techniques and perspectives. Instead, they created radically fragmented objects through abstraction. Many Cubist painters' works are marked by flat, two-dimensional surfaces, geometric forms or cubes of objects, and multiple vantage points. Often, their subjects weren't even discernible. Surrealism Surrealism emerged from the Dada art movement in 1916, showcasing works of art that defied reason. Surrealists denounced the rationalist mindset. They blamed this thought process on events like World War I and believe it to express imaginative thoughts. Surrealists were influenced by Karl Marx and theories developed by Sigmund Freud who explored psychoanalysis and the power of imagination. Influential surrealist artists like Salvador Dali tapped into the unconscious mind to depict revelations found on the street and in everyday life. Dali's paintings in particular pair vivid and bizarre dreams with historical accuracy. Abstract Expressionism Shaped by the legacy of Surrealism Abstract Expressionism emerged in New York after World War II. It's often referred to as the New York School or Action Painting. These painters and abstract sculptors broke away from what was considered conventional and instead used spontaneity and improvisation to create abstract works of art. This included colossally scaled works whose size could no longer be accommodated by an easel whose size could no longer be accommodated by an easel. Instead, canvases would be placed directly upon the floor. Celebrated abstract expressionist painters include Jackson Pollock, known for his unique style of drip painting and Mark Rothko, whose paintings employed large blocks of color to convey a sense of spirituality. Op art, heightened by advances in science and technology as well as the interest in optical effects and illusions. The op art, short for optical art, movement launched in lay movement a group exhibition at Galerie de Nizerny in 1955. Artists active in this style used shapes, colors, and patterns to create images that appeared to be moving or blurring, often produced in black and white for maximum contrast. These abstract patterns were meant to both confuse and excite the eye. English artist Bridget Riley is one of the most prominent op art practitioners. Her 1964 artwork, Blaze, features zigzag black and white lines that create the illusion of a circular descent. Pop Art Pop art is one of the most recognizable artist developments of the 20th century. The movement transitioned away from the methods used in abstract expressionism and instead used everyday, mundane objects to create innovative works of art that challenge consumerism and mass media. This introduction to identifiable imagery was a shift from the direction of modernism. Pop artists like Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein sought to establish the idea that art can draw from any source and there is no hierarchy of culture to disrupt that. Perhaps the most famous pop culture work of art is Warhol's Campbell Soup Cans production. Arte Povera, translating literally to poor art. Arte Povera challenged modernist contemporary systems by infusing commonplace materials into creations. Artists used soil, rocks, paper, rope, 
and other earthen elements to evoke a pre-industrial sentiment. As a result, many of the notable works during this movement are sculptural. Italian artist Mario Merge, in conjunction with other Italian artists such as Giovanni Anselmo and Alighiero Buiti, created anti-elitist works by drawing upon materials from everyday life. His 1968 Giap's Iglo, one of what would soon become his signature series of igloos, focused on his occupations with the necessities of life, shelter, warmth, and food. Minimalism The minimalist movement emerged in New York as a group of younger artists began to question the overly expressive works of abstract expressionist artists. Minimalist art instead focused on anonymity, calling attention to the materiality of works. Artists urged viewers to focus on precisely what was in front of them, rather than draw parallels to outside realities and emotive thoughts through the use of purified forms, order, simplicity, and harmony. American artist Frank Stella was of the earliest adopters of minimalism, producing non-representational paintings as seen in his black paintings completed between 1958 and 1960. Each features a pattern of rectilinear stripes to uniform width printed in metallic black ink. Conceptual Art Conceptual art completely rejected previous art movements, and artists prized ideas over visual components creating art in the form of performances, ephemera, and other forms. Polish performance artist Ewa Partum's active poetry consisted of her scattering single alphabet letters across various landscapes. American artist Joseph Kosuth explored the production and role of language within art, as seen in his 1965 one and three chairs in it he represents one chair in three different ways to represent different meanings of the same object because this type of art focused on ideas and concepts there was no distinct style or form the 1970s marked the beginning of contemporary art which extends through present day. This period is dominated by various schools and smaller movements that emerge. Postmodernism In reaction against modernism, artists created work that reflected skepticism, irony, and philosophical critics. Feminist Art this movement arose in an attempt to transform stereotypes and break the model of a male-dominated art history. Neo-Expressionism Artists sought to revive original aspects of Expressionism and create highly textural, expressive, large works. Street Art Artists such as Keith Haring Jean-Michel Basquiat, Barry McGee, Bansky, and more created graffiti-like art on surface in public places like sidewalks, buildings, and overpasses. The Pictures Generation Artists Cindy Sherman, Louise Lawler, Gary Simmons, and others who were influenced by conceptual and pop art experimented with recognizable imagery to explore images shape our perceptions of the world. Appropriation Art This movement focused on the use of images in art with little transformation from their original form. Young British Artist This group of London artists were notorious for their willingness to shock audiences through their imagery and a willingness to push beyond limits of decency. 
They're also known for their zestful entrepreneurial spirit. Digital Art The advent of the camera lent way to this artistic practice that allowed artists to use the infusion of art and technology to create with mediums like computers, audio, and visual software, sound, and pixels. Art movements throughout the history of Western art have offered a swath of diverse, influential styles, techniques, and media across the globe. Each movement shed light on distinctive painting, sculpture, architectural achievements, and other defining works. Understanding the timeline of art history and how each period has influenced later movements is paramount to building a thoughtful, cohesive collection.